it's now everywhere. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Kirielle today I just wanted to play around with makeup I used this palette which I've used a few times before but not on camera and I just wanted to show you a look with it it's the Revolution Pro holiday palette that they came out with the all that glistens palette which looks like this it's got some exciting and different colors in it so I really wanted to play around with it and I've created this kind of emerald green glitter cut crease moment which looks very similar to my last video but mm, I don't care. I like this look. Okay, this style of makeup is pretty much one of my favorites to do So I just went for it and I really like the way it came out I'm also gonna be using some other products that I've just revisited trying out once more if you're interested in seeing how this palette Performs and seeing some of the color payoff how it all blends and all that jazz then just keep on watching before we get right on into it If you're new, hello, my name is Kiriel. I'm from South Wales. I'm a little bit bizarre I can barely string sentences together <laughs> But I love makeup so if that doesn't make you want to subscribe, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but if you did want to, all you need to do is hit the red button down below and the bell button. And hopefully that will tell you whenever I upload in the future. We're getting so close to 900 people, which is crazy in my book. I mean, that's, I mean, that's a lot of people. Regardless of how many YouTubers there are with big numbers, 900 people is a hell of a lot of people. I like talking to you guys in the comments and... Yeah, it just blows my mind. Anywho, I'm gonna stop blabbing and uh, yeah, let's get right onto the makeup. All right, so the palette that I'm gonna be using today is the Makeup Revolution All That Glistens Lux Eyeshadow Palette. I've had this for literally ages. I've tried it like twice, I think, but I wanna try it again. I did film with it, but I don't think the video ever made it to YouTube. So here we go. Yeah, I really wanted to do a kind of like emerald green or forest green cut crease with like a negative space and then maybe some glitter I don't know but this is what the palette looks like there isn't a lot of greens in here for some reason I thought there was a lot more greens hmm okay well we're gonna try it anyway <laughs> all right I'm going in with my P Louise base in rumor one just gonna pat this out real quick this isn't so much gonna be a review on the palette although I will give you my thoughts on it because I have tried it a few different times I'm gonna use this kind of as like concealer today because why not? <laughs> I literally just blow dried my hair, so my face probably looks a little bit red because I'm kind of warm. But we can just ignore that. <laughs> oh look, I'm a reverse panda. That's what I always wanted to be. <laughs> All right, let's get this party started. I'm going in with this Spectrum Dual Ender Brush. I'm gonna go into the shade Yield, which is like a dark forest green. Ooh, there is a lot of kick up on that. Okay, and I'm going to pack this throughout my crease. Ooh, it's got a decent bit of pigment to it and actually this is the perfect kind of color I wanted I thought it was gonna be a little bit darker than that so I'm glad because looking in the pan does look very dark I guess it kind of looks similar I don't know I thought it wasn't gonna be the color I wanted but it is it's a happy accident okay kind of like mapping out the shape that I want very messily apparently. <laughs> to be fair, the pigment on this is really good. It's a very, very pretty green. I like it. I think it's maybe coming off a bit more navy on camera, but it is definitely like a foresty green. I'm hoping this look is going to be kind of simple. I don't want it to be like too complicated, you know? I'm bringing this right down into my inner corner. Now I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to go into the transition kind of color in the shade Glitch. And I'm just going to see if I can kind of blend this out just a little bit. I don't really want to take it too high, but I want to start a blend. It's blending. It's taking its time, but we're getting there. <laughs> I don't know if that Glitch color really is doing anything, but it is blending out nicely and it's not going all muddy, which is great. I was a little bit worried. I honestly love Spectrum brushes so much. They're so soft. Got a new set for Christmas, which I'm so excited to use. This isn't them, but I am planning to do a what I got for Christmas video. So you will see them in that. I'm pretty sure this is going up after that. So it's probably already uploaded. If it is, I'll link it in the little eye over here for you guys, if you're interested. Just building up that green a little bit more. Bringing it further across the lid a little bit. All right, now I think I'm gonna go in with the color Tremor ever so slightly because this is the black of the palette and I don't want to go too crazy with it. So I'm just taking the slightest amount on the tip of the brush. As you can see that, sorry, this brush is really stained. <laughs> I'm just gonna start deepening up the 
crease a little just really make this green nice and rich i feel like this is a good black it's not too overpowering but it does pack a punch you know Okay, my uh, battery is about to die, so I'm gonna quickly do this on the other eye and then we'll be right back to finish it up. All right, so somebody got a little bit carried away and decided to do the rest of the eye. So this is the kind of look that I wanted to do. So I'm gonna show you how I did it on this eye. Okay, so I'm just going in with a Q-tip that's got a little bit of makeup remover on it. Just because it's easier to place the white down when you have more of a bare base. Putting the wet Q-tip down and then just shaping it out with the dry one. Just better so the cut crease doesn't go all muddy and you get like a mixture of the green in with the white. All right, now that is done, I'm going in with the white P. Louise base and I'm just gonna carve out my crease. And I'm just using this little brush. I think it's supposed to be a either detail brush or a lip brush and it's the Beauty Bay On Point. Tell you what, getting these eyes even is the bane of my life, okay? <laughs> All right, crease is finally <laughs> cut. Just gonna set it and forget it. I'm gonna use a translucent powder to set it because I don't want to add any colour on top. Alright, now I'm just taking the excess that's on this brush and just kind of bringing over that green a little and making a little bit of a gradient. I'm going to go into this kind of purpley multicoloured kind of glitter that's called glare in the palette and I'm gonna start patting this on a diagonal as you can kind of see like it's set out on this eye and yeah we're gonna start packing this on i put it down as a straight line and then i kind of move the excess of my brush towards the inner and outer corner and it just creates a nice fade of the glitter <coughs> cough is still there <laughs> hopefully this year i'll get a bit more creative with makeup i'm gonna put a little bit only a tiny amount of spangled which is the green glitter just over top to tie in a little bit more of that green color just kind of dotting it around a little. Okay, now I'm just gonna tight line with a brown liner, which is by Revolution Pro. Now I'm gonna take a black liner. I'm using the Fenty Fly Liner. And I'm gonna do a medium thick line because I'm gonna be pressing over it with a shadow. And I'm not doing a flick. I'm just taking it towards the outer edge of my eye and then stopping. And I do this to act as a base for the color that we put on top. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it really, but it's like a metallic greeny color and the black just helps it stand out a bit more and it acts as a really good base for the color. Now I put that down, I'm gonna go in with an angled brush, which is just the winged liner brush from Zoeva. And I'm going in with the shade Storm, which is like a bluey green with a gold reflect and it's really pretty. And I'm just gonna stamp this over the liner. Okie dokie, so there is that kind of green gold liner. I think it looks really pretty. I really like this look. For the lower lash line, I do something really similar. I'm going in with the shade Yield again. I'm just gonna brush this underneath the eye and connect it to the outer corner. Then I'm taking the same brown eyeliner that I tight lined with, going through the waterline. I'm just leaving the inner third blank because I don't want my eye to be completely closed off. And then I go over the brown eyeliner with the same shade Storm and it brings out that green color again, but in the waterline. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of mascara. I'm gonna use the Bambi Eye False Lash Mascara. Okay, and that is the eye makeup all done. It's a bit dramatic, I know. I know someone new here commented saying they really liked it when I had natural eye makeup on. Thank you, by the way. I'm very flattered. I do love a nude, soft eye when there's not a lot of eyeshadow going on as well. But sometimes I like looks like this. So I hope this doesn't offend you and I hope you like it. I really do. But yeah, let's move on to the face makeup now. So I'm excited to try some other products that I've got that I haven't used in a while. So let's back you guys up and get on into it. Alrighty then. There is nothing like freshly washed hair. I love how like floofy and light it feels. Oh, it feels so good. I don't know why I brought it down now though because I'm doing my base makeup. What was I thinking? I'm <laughs> just gonna hydrate my skin a little bit. I'm gonna use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist just because I'm feeling a little dry actually. I... <laughs> oh god. I forgot to get rid of the fallout underneath my eye and I've just sprayed that over it. That was not my best choice I've ever made. <laughs> All right well I'll leave it dry and see if I can address it in a second. <laughs> I'm going to prime with an oldie but a goodie, the Unicorn Primer Drops by Barry M. I haven't used these in a while actually, but I do really like this. This is my second bottle and I'm kind of almost out of this one. I really want to try their, what's it called, the Pixie one. I think that's supposed to be like the Fasali Blurring Primer. I'm going to use a little bit of my e.l.f. Putty Primer to 
minimize pores even though my pores don't actually look that bad when I use that primer. This primer to me is such a weird one because you put it on and it almost goes onto like a cream but it fills in your pores. It feels hydrating. It's just like... <laughs> I don't know, a working wonder. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I'm gonna use two shades, Light Sand and Fair Warm if I feel like the light sand isn't light enough. This looks kind of too dark on my skin. It's looking really yellow. <laughs> Just gonna add a little bit of the Fair Warm in. Mix them all together. All right, and I'm just gonna blend this in. Usually I do my contour first. I'm not quite sure why I went in with concealer first. My brain clearly isn't working that well today. <laughs> I always forget how much coverage this concealer has got. It is kind of insane, it just keeps on going. <laughs> Honestly, it is the best five pound concealer, though out there personally, I think it's one of the best. I don't think I'm even gonna need foundation at this rate. <laughs> All right, for my bronzer, I'm gonna go into the Aloe Girl Pro Conceal, and this is in the shade Toast. It's a very dark color, <laughs> as you can see, Blended out, it's the right tone for me, so I really like using this product. Just gonna slap it on. I'm gonna do a bit around my lip as well. Make my lips look big and juicy, you know? Okay, I think I went a bit overboard. <laughs> All right, let's blend this out. Okay, the brush is coming out. The sponge is just taking too long for me. This Eye Girl Concealer is like setting down really quickly. I swear it does not usually set down this quick. It's fine, we will persevere and we will look tanned and we will look snatched and <laughs> These are all the things I have done myself, okay? I gotta get through this somehow. Look at this. Oh dear. It is blended out. It shouldn't be too bad. It's absolutely fine. It's fine. <laughs> the brush is doing the job. The brush is doing the dang thing. These lips right now? Okay. They're killing me. I need to... Let's sort these out. I don't want to spread the product like outwards, so I'm like pulling it in towards my lips to blend it out a bit. All right. Now that is all on and kind of blended. Uh, it's time for foundation. I'm gonna give this another go. It's the Born to Glow foundation by NYX. It wasn't that glowy, in my opinion. It was very, very, very matte. I'm gonna give it another go. I think I'm just gonna go straight in with my sponge with this one. I'm just patting off like a lot of the excess because I don't wanna get rid of what I put on. I just wanna veil over top. So I'm gonna start in the areas where I need kind of the most coverage and then just blend it out from there. I'm just taking the butt of my sponge and just blending it up and over. See, once you go over it with foundation, it doesn't look that crazy. All right, time to set my eyes. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder that goes everywhere and always has tons in the friggin' lid. Can we not? It's 2020, can we not have like good sifters where not all of this happens? All right, let's get rid of these creases under here. Why you gotta make such a mess, Laura? Why? All right, so I'm gonna set the rest of my face and I'm gonna try a powder that I've tried once, but it's oxidized, but I did use it for underneath my eyes. I'm hoping on the rest of my face, it isn't gonna do that. This is the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder in the shade Translucent, but it is not translucent. This is pretty yellow, but I wanna give it a second chance, see if I can make it work. I'm using a Spectrum A01 brush. I'm just gonna pack this on and then swirl. Can you guys see a difference in the shade? I feel like it might have darkened it just the slightest amount, but I can get away with it, so <laughs> I'm gonna use it. It feels nice and light on the skin, so that's a bonus, but it's definitely darkening me a little bit. I'm gonna use this Smashbox Holiday Palette, Holiday's Contour and Spotlight Palette. I'm gonna use the middle shade called Bronze. Coat my brush and then literally I'm just swirling off the excess because I don't want too much. This is quite a dark powder. I'm just going to go over the cream bronzer that we put on. I'm actually going to use the contour colour from this palette as well, which is this one right here. And let's just chisel out a little bit. Just softening this all out with my bronzer brush. Making sure the lines aren't too hard. I'm just going to now dust off this bake. And I just like to buff this into the skin. I don't really flick it off. I'm just softening like the edges like by my bronzer as well, so it's all really seamless underneath the eye area. Okay, now it's time for blush. I'm gonna go in with um, this, which I haven't used for ages. It's the Last and Finish Soft Color Blush in 20 Ink Rose, and it's by Rimmel. It's a single blush, it's really pretty, really natural. I'm just gonna blush these cheeks up. I have gone a little crazy, but it's fine. I'm gonna go over and veil with my powder brush, and veil. Okay. 
Okay, so next I'm going to do my brows. I'm going to do the classic thing and go off camera and do them. I'm probably not going to do a lot to them. Maybe add a little bit more structure. I'll put down below what I use anyway for my brows. I'll probably pop on some falsies as well while I'm at it. And then we'll come back and finish off the lips and everything. So, be right back. Alright, lashes, brows are on. Um, now I'm going to add some highlight because I almost forgot to be honest. I'm going to use the Ofra highlighter in Star Island. Only because I've been stuck on the Pixie Palette collaboration with Rachel Loves and I really need to use other things in my collection. <laughs> Even though I really love the finish of that. I'm just going to give myself like an overall kind of glow with this. So I'm just going to sweep it on with more of like a bigger brush. Such a nice glow. I'm just gonna highlight my nose a little. I love how I'm like, I wanna do matte skin. And then I just put a load of highlight on. <laughs> just gonna blend it all together with a bit of a bigger fluffier brush. Thick lip liner in Los Angeles. All right, I think I'm just gonna briefly fill my lips apart from the center and then just go over it with the Honey Gloss by MUA. I think I like it. <laughs> I'm going to um, quickly set my face and we'll be done. I'm gonna use the Shake and Glow by L'Oreal. Mr. on this man. Goals. All right, you guys, so this is the finished makeup look. Do you like the eyes? I really love this style of makeup. I know this is very similar to my kind of like update, get ready with me video, but I think it's really pretty. And I've had this look stuck in my head for a while, so I really wanted to do it. You know what I haven't done? I haven't added an inner corner highlight. I'm gonna do that real quick. <laughs> Just a little boop and a boop and that is it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this kind of tutorial and you like this look. I just wanted to play around with some forest green. This is the look I wanted to do and I think it's really pretty. And also, it was done using an affordable palette and I actually really like this. The glitters in here are decent. I would just suggest using a glitter glue with them so they don't like fall out. Although, to be fair, there isn't like a hell of a lot of fallout with these glitters and they're not really transferring, which is great. But yeah, I love the effect that it gives. The mattes also are really good in here. There is an eye base in here, which I haven't personally used. It's kind of like reminiscent of the Huda palettes, you know, where she has like an eye base. I'm pretty sure this is, you know, trying to be like her palettes but with a completely different color scheme. I really rate this and I'm gonna use it a bit more. Even though the color scheme in it is a little bit weird, I think I'm gonna be doing a lot more chill videos like this in the future. I just enjoy just sitting around and playing with makeup and just, I don't know, doing more relaxed videos. It feels more like old school YouTube, you know, where it was just you sitting in your bedroom playing around with makeup and just talking random crap. I mean, that is basically all of my videos. <laughs> so there's not that much of a difference, but I don't know. I really enjoyed this one. But yeah, I think I've kept you here long enough. Um, <laughs> if you enjoy chit chat kind of videos, make videos, reviews, and other content, then why not subscribe? If you're new, you just need to click the red button down below, and to get notified, you just click the bell, and that will tell you when I've got new videos. Give this a thumbs up if you like the makeup look, or if you just like the video. And I shall now love you and leave you. I hope you're having a fabulous day wherever you are in the world, and I hope to see you on the next one. Till then. Bye guys. Today I'm doing this kind of, um, today I'm doing a, what am I doing? Because I cannot speak clearly. I, again, can't string a sentence together. <laughs> this is great. Oh, whoa, no. My softbox is falling. Please don't do this to me right now. Oh, why? Help. Someone sent. Help. Oh my god. All right, I, Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sirens. I hope everyone's okay. If it dares to fall again, there's gonna be some hill to pay. <sighs> I just really closed my window. <laughs> it is so goddamn warm in here. Uh -huh. Alright, now I'm gonna go into this kind of multi dimensional glitter. All right, now I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Can I speak? Thanks. I know when, I know what, because I'm so used to not using. Do you have to? It is like really dark compared to like my skin color. It's, ooh. It's now everywhere. Hey.